Hello, I'm David and in this tutorial I'm going to give a brief overview of references and links within the Scrivener. I already have a simple Scrivener project prepared containing a few short text documents in my draft area and a couple of documents in research. I'm going to open the inspector, select document references and then drag in an internally referenced file and an externally referenced file. You can immediately see the nature of the reference file by the relevant path name. The external file has not been imported in Scrivener, so when we double click onto the PDF icon, the file will open in Adobe Acrobat. As a PDF file is supported by Scrivener, along with image files, movie files, etc., the reference can simply be dragged to the title bar area and Scrivener will open it. It is still an external reference, but we are opening the file within Scrivener. When we double click on the picture file, it will automatically open within Scrivener as it is an internally referenced file. So, references are useful for relating information to a particular document. We could drag in external web pages with pertinent information, related pictures, research material from our Scrivener project, text files, movies, or anything else we wanted to reference to a document. Links are similar to references, but link directly to other documents within the given Scrivener project. When we are in the editor relating to one of our documents, we can go to Text, Scrivener, Link. The submenu will offer us choices. We have New Link, and then a hierarchical view of all the other documents in the current project. If I select Rambling Man, it will insert a link to that document at the cursor position in my current document. Clicking on the link will take me to the Rambling Man document. Control click will also provide the Scrivener link menu. This is a really useful way of linking between documents. For example, you could link to the picture of the banyan tree, like so. The linking feature even allows us to select text and then link to that particular text selection to another document. We can even just drag links into the current document using the file we want to link to. This goes for the research documents too. Here I am simply dragging and linking to an internal PDF document. The exception to this rule happens when we drag a picture file in as a link. As a convenience, this type of file typically comes in as the actual picture. Double clicking within an image allows us to resize it by the way. We can obviously use the Scrivener link menu or drag the picture file in whilst holding down the option key to create a link though. There is a selection within preferences that will affect the behavior of Scrivener links. If we go to preferences and select navigation, we can see a tick box selection entitled Open Scrivener Links in Alternate Editor. When this is selected, we can now see that our links do indeed open in the other editor. This feature is particularly useful if you want to quickly refer to a link but remain in your current document. Scrivener Link New Link is great when you want to make notes on something that you may want to reference to from various different documents. You can make document specific notes within document notes but let us create a new link. This will create a note that is linked to our document. The note is created with a name relating to the original document along with a date and timestamp. This note then becomes another regular text document that can be moved, renamed or linked to. So, in brief, Scrivener links are just a way of jumping between documents linking one to another. I hope this has been an informative introduction to the references and links features within Scrivener. Goodbye.